thank you for joining the Northern Miner at the AME's annual Roundup Convention in Vancouver. The University of British Columbia is an enabler of high-tech startups. Here to tell us more is John Steen, the director of the Bradshaw Research Institute of Mining and Minerals at the University of British Columbia. Thank you very much for joining me. Thank you, Henry. All right. So uh, what is the Bradshaw Research Institute all about? Uh, what is its main uh, purpose? Well, BREM is really responding to the need for different technologies to produce minerals in a cleaner and more sustainable way. So we find that the way to get these breakthrough technologies is really to cross disciplinary boundaries and work with uh, work put scientists together with social scientists, with engineers, across the whole university to, to really come up with these breakthrough technologies. Mm -hmm. All right, so how does it then connect researchers across boundaries and uh, with industry? Yeah, I mean, universities often face the struggle of trying to get researchers working together. You know, uh, someone said once that universities are a collection of a thousand small, business, small businesses. Um, so we, BRIM actually provides seed capital and incentives to get researchers working together um, across different faculties. and. We, we're an industry-facing organisation. We have a set, you know, several industry partners, uh, including one very big one in Rio Tinto. Mm. And uh, what we really do is broker solutions between the, uh, the researchers and the, uh, the industry partner. And we have several examples of that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, well then, uh, so why don't you describe some of the research themes that BRIM has been busy with and then we'll dive into some of these examples. Yeah, sure, sure. So BRIM has four research themes and that's that they, they are dynamic, they change over time, but currently the research themes include uh, biotechnology. So we had a great se seminar this morning at, uh, at Roundup mm. with uh, AME, uh, AME Roundup, we had uh, Bi Genome, Genome BC. Uh, supporting a, a seminar, and we really showcased all of our all of our technologies in, in biotech and how they were um, really changing the full life cycle of, of, of mining, you know, from exploration right through to closure and reclamation. So that's that's one theme: biotechnology. Uh, we're best known for that, probably. Mm -hmm. We also look at water. Water is critical for the future of mining. Uh, we're big consumers of water. Water scarcity is going to be a fact of life in some places. In, to do with climate change, some places might have too much water. So we take a, a, a risk and uh, technology lens through you know, to, to actually recover water and also manage water better. Um, the other one that we're looking at very carefully, and this is another research theme, is decarbonisation. So how do we achieve the net zero mine? What's the combination of technologies, energy efficiency, carbon capture, uh, we've spun out a few companies on carbon capture in, in, uh, in rocks, in tailings. And the th last one is uh, biodiversity and natural capital. So how, how, does the, has the organ how does the industry actually become nature positive? So how do we preserve um, biodiversity? How do we actually regenerate mines after their life to really uh, go back to the natural state? Wow, that's fascinating work. Um, so can you show us some examples uh, of these successful connections with industry on research challenges? Yes. Well, the big one that, that, that we're part of at the moment is the Rio Tinto Centre for Future of Materials. And that's a, a network of five universities from across the world, of which UBC is one. Uh, the others are Imperial College in London, Berkeley uh, down in the US, uh, ANU in Australia, and uh, Witzwaters around in, in, in South Africa. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, it's headquartered uh, in London and uh, there's $150 million US that's been dedicated to this over 10 years. So we're part of that research centre and we're collaborating with those, with those other universities and with Rio Tinto on developing new, new technology solutions for sustainable mining. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's the, the big flagship one. The other one that we're looking at is um, we're looking at more sustainable processing methods for so bio extraction of, of, of gold from ore. Mm. Uh, we're also looking at uh, climate change and cl how climate change is affecting uh, mine sites and that's in, in uh, collaboration with Vale. So we really have a, 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 a real portfolio of industry collaborations across, you know, again, across the entire mine life cycle. Sounds like really meaningful work. Yes, I think so. I think you know, the uptake we're getting from industry is very strong because it's the, it's the high impact work that they're really interested in. 
All right. Uh, so another aspect of Brim's work is professional development work. Can you please talk us uh, talk to us about what some of these themes and uh, uh, um, uh, streams are? Yeah. So the mining industry is facing a skills shortage. Uh, our one of the one of our solutions to that is to provide micro credentials. So these are packaged uh, 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 learning uh, opportunities in, in, in short form. Um, and we're focusing at the moment on uh, uh, sustainable business decision making in mining. So that's, uh, we call that economic leadership. And we've had uh, a few thousand, I forget the number exactly, it changes, but a few thousand learners through that program for all around the world. And that's been sponsored by NRCAN, the Grantham Institute. And we've had about $3 million of external funding to, to really promote that, to, uh, particularly into developing, developing countries. Uh, the other one in partnership with Rio Tinto is the Mine Closure Program. So if you like, Mine Closure is sort of the weak, weakest link here in our industry at the moment. It's the one where we get most grief and most, most trouble uh, you know, in terms of ESG uh, reporting. So we are a partner with Rio Tinto developing this course and the idea that is that this Mine Closure course will be offered to the entire industry around the world. We're also doing that in collaboration with an Australian university, mm -hmm. so it's an international collaboration. A big part of that that we were really excited about is a First Nations perspective on mine closure, so mm -hmm. comparing Australia and also uh, North America on First Nations engagement with the mining industry and mine closure. It sounds very fascinating. Uh, what else is important about the BRIM, perhaps, that we have not uh, touched on? Yeah, I think uh, yeah, BRIM, BRIM is nimble. It's a very nimble organisation. We can. Uh, th thanks to the, uh, a, a donation of uh, money from Peter Bradshaw, the, the name of, behind the, the Bradshaw Institute. Thanks to his donations, we can actually take money and put, the, put, it, put it very quickly towards a new project. So normally the grant cycle takes about a year. Uh, when we see a good idea, uh, we, get, we have an industry partner and a researcher with a good idea, we can put money towards it and get it going very quickly. And I think that's a real distinctive point of BRIM. All right, that was very interesting. That was uh, John Steen, the director of the Bradshaw Research Institute for Mining and Minerals at the University of British Columbia. Thank you very much for Thank joining you, me. Thank you, Henry.